right now I'm a virgin, so I'm waiting until I'm post-op so that, you know, it can be special. What is the surgery going to entail? Basically, I get a vagina. If I could start transitioning tomorrow, I would. Hey, Mom. But I have to take into consideration what I'm doing to my mother and my sister. Whew. Gender identity disorder. Who's saying you have this disorder? My therapist. Hello, you sell hormones? Well, I get hormones from the street. I don't know where to buy. God! I remember when I was three or four years old, and then I knew. I kind of envisioned who I was going to be as a man. And it was cute at first, because it's like, oh, she thinks she's a little boy, it's so adorable. Throughout high school, I was really depressed and antisocial, and I was just like all over the place emotionally, really just trying to find a way to live with myself. When I came to college, the first thing I learned about was transsexuality, and that's when I realized, oh, I am a man. I was just confused for 20 years. I'm a male to female transsexual. That's why I'm succeeding in education, because I view my education as my superiority over other people. And when I graduate, I'll show them who is really the boss. I think about surgery like all the time. I just get so caught up that like I miss a lot of other things and stuff because it consumes me a lot of the time. Sometimes I get into like little fits and stuff because of being preoperative. I get a bit more apathetic so I don't do my work, which really is hurting my work in a couple of classes. I'm concerned a little bit, like my physics class, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be getting a C in this semester. And then there's a computer science class. I make one little mistake and it just completely shears my grade over. Surgery is my primary concern and not my schoolwork. So that kind of can get into the way sometimes. One less day and I just keep going. You know I'm gonna make it. Hey Jay, come see the Team Trans T-shirt. Oh yeah, that's cool. We're, we're just trying different stars. That's the one we like best right now. I'm involved with Phi Tom U, which is the Greek letters of F to M, female to male. Uh, we call ourselves the alpha male chapter. What other shapes are there? Anything, like name it. <laughs> no, don't name it. <laughs> Try the condom. <laughs> the smiley face. <laughs> no, over the rest <laughs> right now, Fight Time U is pretty small, so I think we're more banking on trying to make it grow nationally. So are we keeping the... Can we not no. have the failing <laughs> rock star? <laughs> Members of Fight Time U are, are like my brothers. Um, we're a support group for each other. 
and we try to give each other the support that we're not getting anywhere else in our lives. Let's take a five time your nap. <laughs> we are so like a fraternity. Oh, <laughs> oh God. I just got something I don't want. <laughs> I felt that all the way over here. Yeah, that's right, you would. <laughs> are you packing? Me? Yeah. Yes. I know, I'm really hot. Ow. <gasps> we had, like, Are you black. gonna like pull it out of your pants? Like No, no you should. Yeah. Right. They're gonna be clean. I don't wanna see like any pubes on it or anything. <laughs> <laughs> well mine has pubes on it sometimes. It happens. Yeah. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> nice. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Now whip it all do out. Not flash us. <laughs> There we go. Pull your balls. It feels like a real penis, right? <laughs> I don't. I don't think a real one does this though. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> yeah, talk about I mean, mutilation. We <laughs> at Smith College. Um, I chose to stay here because it benefited me personally. Selfish. One of the things that I think is going to be necessary for me to be healthy um, is being able to, to take the steps to allow my body to reflect um, who I am and how I see myself. The issue of hormones, the issue of surgery um, is something that, you know, is constantly on my mind. Hormones I do want to go on, but um, but I'm doing a lot more research on those because those are very dangerous. Um, what we do know is that testosterone increases risk of cancer. What we do know is that testosterone increases blood pressure. We know also that it, you know, it cuts down your life. It, you know, you live, you don't live as long. Uh, at what point is the breaking point for me to start shaving years off my life? So I'm just trying to be responsible about it. It's something that I definitely want, but I'm just trying to be balanced and be patient. <laughs>